message to Broken Dreams removal. I got a how much you pay for an SUV? <clears throat> well, I'm gonna need year, make, model, and uh, condition. You know, tell me a little bit. Location, all that stuff helps. Oh, it's a 2000 GMC Jimmy. Hmm. It's a weird, weird looking Jimmy, but. Oh, yeah, it just has a little rust. Nothing else wrong with it. Okay. So I get the address. Before I head out, I figure I go on the old, uh, the old Facebook, the old cat page, and uh, I wonder if anyone on there has got a price just for uh, while I'm waiting. You know, curiosity. What, what's the cat worth on this thing? I know some of them I thought had really good ones. So, so I type in uh, 2000 GMC Jimmy, and uh, sure enough, I found the guy's post, and uh, he had the cat cut off of it. He took a picture, and uh, you know he put that little, you know that little emoji with the dollar signs, and the tongue hanging out, and everyone started commenting on it. Oh, you lucky bastard, you got one of those. So, come to find out, cats worth $700. So, I said, well, I'm rich. So, you know how things go for me lately. Uh,. It's too good to be true, right? She says she wants $100 for this 2000 GMC Jimmy. <clears throat> so, it's, uh, I look at the old address. It's uh, three minutes down the road from me. Three minutes, yeah. So, I'm like, well, looks like we're in the money today, boys. So then um, I head over to the address and uh, I don't see anything. I don't see Jimmy's or Blazers or anything in the driveway. <clears throat> but uh, I see a girl jump right in the passenger side of my truck. Say, oh yeah, um, you ready? And I'm like, uh, ooh. We're taking a ride? Oh yeah, yeah, we gotta go down, uh, we gotta go, you know, take about a ten minute ride to go get it, to another house. Oh, okay. So again, no big deal. We're gonna make the money. It's no, it's no big deal. You know. So, after, uh, <clears throat> you know, a flat tire and the fact that was sitting in the yard that had uh, in front of a driveway that had not been plowed you know okay I'm still uh, I'm still happy because you know I could be getting the gold I could be getting that $700 cat you know so I end up having to chain it yank it out with the truck winch it on so not too bad you know I've done worse so I Give her the hundred and she gets all of her stuff out she's happy and also tells me now that I have it you know that it's already on the trailer that it didn't run right and that's why they parked it it's got some kind of a major you know rough running issue which we know what that is with the 4.3 that's the old spider old spider injector so I don't really care still because I could be getting 
the $700 cat. So I bring it home and I'm all excited. And I look underneath. That don't look like that same cat that guy took a picture of. Looks like it has uh, some regular flows on it. They call those flows on the Chevy trucks and the, you know, and stuff. They have the two come off the Y pipe. You know, kind of small, worth about 100, 100 to 150 a piece. I'm like, uh oh. So then I, I, I look at the door and, uh, not only is it not a Jimmy, but it's not a 2000. Nope. It's a 2002. And uh, that explains why it does not have the $700 cat on it. So there you go. Another life of gambling. Well, still a little bit of money to be made off of it. I think that uh, we're going to have to see if this thing runs. Picked up a little bit of this, a uh, couple things, you know, over the weekend. Guy called me up. Got a front loader washer. Those are pretty heavy. Got a uh, the old Continental dryer there. Said it works. A little uh, portable dishwasher and uh, oh another another freezer that I don't dare trying to sell. That was just a nightmare trying to sell that other one. But uh, the guy says. I'm like, uh, there's nothing in the freezer, right? He's like, oh, no, there's nothing in it. No. But it doesn't open. It's frozen shut. Oh. Frozen shut. Oh. Oh, well, yeah. Well, once it, uh... It's, uh... You know, you just gotta... Try a little bit to open it, but... Oh, nothing in there. Nope, it's all cleaned out for you. <coughs> oh, you guys can go in there. I'm not. I'll show you inside. Oh, what's in there? Oh, the compressor. Oh, yep, all cleaned out for you. Problem. Take it away. It's all right. Oh, I'm just uh, ready for the nice weather, so I'm just gonna leave the door right open. Yeah. It's like uh, 15 degrees out, whatever. The sun's out. Picked up a few uh, few ACs over there too, you know, getting a little AC horde going. Ah, oh, just getting the old uh, jump pack charged up. Wanted to uh, let you know a couple things. Uh, you know, you might notice down in the um, description lately on my videos, I got a couple links down there. Um, got a, a link to my Facebook that uh, been working out pretty good, and uh, also. There's a link to my PayPal account, and uh, I just wanted to straighten out why, just to explain why I was putting that on there. Um, you know, I'm not not one to uh, 
you know, to go out begging for money or anything, but um, I noticed that it was something that um, a couple of other YouTubers were doing, and uh, what had happened is, that, you know, I have a lot of, uh, a lot of fans and, and you know, uh, a lot of friends, too, on YouTube, um, I'd like to say, and, uh, you know, I had a couple of guys say, you know, you know, I wish I lived closer, I'd buy you a beer, or, you know, go down and, you know, I'd buy you a six-pack or something like that, and, uh, so, I was kind of, you know, thinking, I never really thought of, uh, the ways that that would be possible, but, uh, one guy said, you know, he said, hey, you know, do you have a PayPal, because, uh, you know, I'll send you over, uh, money to go down and, you know, grab a case of beer or something and uh, have a few beers on me. So I said, yeah, okay. And um, I gave it to him. It worked out and everything, and it was great. But uh, then I got thinking about it while I did see, you know, like I said, that uh, other YouTubers were putting the, putting the PayPal there. So I'm like, well, maybe, you know, that's not a bad idea for stuff like that. And... Uh, so I went ahead and got that, it's like a little, uh, you know, special little link you can get if you have a PayPal account. And uh, I've had one for a while because also, to let you know, um, I've always sold a lot of stuff on uh, eBay. And, you know, like most of us, you know, scrappers and stuff do, I do a lot of clean outs and uh, find all sorts of treasures as you've seen, you know, in vehicles and cars and parts and stuff. and. You know, sometimes I'll uh, I'll list that stuff on there, and you know, try to get a couple of bucks, and uh, definitely helps out. So um, yeah, my uh, my eBay is uh, CJ's Goody Shop. Uh, if you just type that out, you should be able to come to it. But I'll see if I can uh, put some sort of a um, link to that maybe in the description maybe you want to check out you know once in a while what I put on there for sale or you know um, interesting little items and treats if you would and uh, yeah so that's that and uh, you know you never know you might want to you know some people like to donate here and there and I'm all for that I've had people ask me before but really didn't uh, realize how to go about it so that's what we're uh, that's what we're doing so um, if you decide to do that I appreciate it and as always uh, appreciate you watching and uh, you know the interest in my uh, my stuff and things that I do <clears throat> Hold on to that first bear, I guess, huh? Never know. I need a healthy air filter. What do we got here? Oh. The old, uh, old easy pass. I need that. Nothing. What's this? Empty. Fuse in there. Oh, we got the uh, 2002 Blazer. Yeah. 2000 Jimmy, same thing, whatever. Let's see what they bought here. Uh, NGK spark plug. They bought, well, they bought 10 of them. Huh. It's an odd uh, number. You know, it's got, this is a rare 10 cylinder, I guess. But, uh, not bad. Twenty-eight 
23 bucks for uh, 10 NGKs. Mm. What else is in there? Oh yeah. You're gonna need one of those when you got a 4-3. Uh, nice little twisties. So, it's a pretty clean interior compared to a lot of them I've seen. Really not too bad. Seats are pretty good. Lots of crumbs. It's crummy. It's a crummy one. It's back there. Just had a little, little truck back there. I don't see any spare. Looks like it has the spare on it. I don't see the other wheel. So no matter how much air you put in that tire, it leaks right up. Oh. Got some fancy little lights here. I'd have to go ahead and uh keep those. Battery is uh not too good. It's, uh, it's like it's like that's the wire for that switch in there. What I I assume for the lights. Oh, I gotta see a boat doing something about this battery. It's not going to get us anywhere here. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll, uh, we'll get this thing fired up.